Hey there guys, how you going? It's me again, Dan, and I'm gonna take you through an unboxing video today, uh, here on another episode of Hearns TV. And today, I thought I would do something that I don't think I've done before. Um, helicopter that is uh, not necessarily for combat. But as you can see, I am doing the CH-47A Chinook. Actually, I'll show you, there you go. And now the, the, the lights aren't uh, obscuring it. But yeah, there you can see it there, the Chinook. What a great big helicopter this thing is. Yeah, the Chinook was, uh, came about as a need for a heavy lift helicopter for the US Army originally. Uh, to replace the Mojave uh, helicopter. And yeah, the Chinook first flew 1961 and entered service in 1962. And it has been used by the US military, uh, the UK, South Korea, Japan, Australia uses it, and even Iran. Uh, they, in fact, they still use it. And one of the things that makes the Chinook so uh, recognizable, obviously, is not only its size, but it's the, as you can see on the front, the tandem rotors at the, the front and the back. Um, I'll go into that a little bit later, actually, why they, uh, why they chose that. But yeah, about 1,200 of these have been made in total through all the variants and sub-variants. There's an MH-47, which is a special mission one. And there's, there was also an attack version, the ACH-47, called the Guns A Go Go, which was uh, used in Vietnam uh, a little bit, but I don't think it, uh, I don't think it advanced uh, from those uh, from the initial version. Anyway, that's enough. Now let's have a look at this kit and everything on the inside. So, guys, check this out: trumpeter uh, kit, one thirty-five scale, beautiful beautiful artwork on the box like this is really quite striking this stood out to me immediately when i saw it as it's, it's the air cavalry symbol just there lifting up a uh1 which is not included in the kit so i'd just uh, like to point that out let's open it up chuck that over there and that can go just there all right let's have a look at the instructions first now Black and white, booklet format, trumpeter. Ah, this is something that trumpeter are famous for, as I'm sure you've noticed in the other kits that I've done. They always include the, the color chart there of uh, uh, what it looks like and the, the placement of decals, placement of decals as well. You can see what a, what a, big, what a big aircraft that the, uh, the Chinook was. I love this. I love that the uh, they, um, trumpeter include this. And as you can see here, are the sprues will go to the instructions. And it's a bit of photo etch in this as well. We'll show you that later. And of course, the decals there. As you can see, yep. Nice, simple to follow instructions. Big pictures. Yes, yeah, so you can easily recognize the parts. See it coming together there. Doesn't look like there's a hell of a lot of pieces to this one, so this video might be a quick one. There you can get an appreciation for how big this is. Yeah, might cool, cool. That's that. Now, let's have a look at some of the pieces. Now, this I like. Actually, let me get it out first. You have the majority of the helicopter here safely. And these pieces and these bits of cardboard, let me take it out. Ah, oh, look at that. Yeah, see that? And there, that's the front part. Put that there. And I'll take out the back part. There. And, it, and then on the blue paper there, got the outline for the pieces. Oh, and all these little touches here and there. Enhance the kit, I find. Yeah, all right, so put that to the side for a second now I'll just show you look at that we'll put these put that pieces together there's my hands there see this is going to be a pretty big pretty big model when it's done nice join too just there but oh, a little bit again you're going to need some putty in there yeah definitely 
and as you see the tandem rotor front and rear there and that's where that's where the engines would go um, the tandem rotor the front and the back what that uh, the reason that they have that is it increases the uh, lifting capability of the helicopter with uh, the ability to use what would be relatively short blades so yes in very good design very good design and on the exterior of of the Chinook just there. I think there's slightly indented panel lines and rivet points there. Lots of realism in this one. Yeah, that's down. There's a door at the back that flips open from there. Troops would uh, come in and out of. Uh, they can carry a total of about 55 troops on this and there were door, a doorway. They had a door gunner as well and show you underneath this is where they would have had a winch for lifting lifting heavy things there now what i wanted to show you as well on the inside i'll see if the camera can get this although i'll have to probably have to show you that way so we can get the light now can you see just there on the walls on the interior there's the pattern of the insulation like on a real chinook the, to uh help dull the noise of the blades from the outside of the outside this was actually quite a large very very loud plane should i say uh a helicopter should i say actually uh yeah excellent for realism fantastic and also on the rear on this part here like i was showing i'll hold it out to you there's a doorway that goes down and you could in and out from there could also carry uh, uh, small military vehicles as well and on the inside there's all the ribbing right there like you would on a on a real one beautiful details wonderful and there's there's more of the insulation there yes yeah, so i'm very impressed with this with the realism on this one you could use quite a different um a few different washers on this one to really bring it out you'd probably want to have it with the door down so people could see so you could see on the inside once it's finished yeah very good excellent start to this kit i'm impressed already now put that just over there let's have a look at what else have we got here ah yeah here's here's the rear ramp door and uh these I'll just go on the outside on uh, either side this is where the landing gear would come out there's two on each side so they had four little legs with uh, with wheels on them and here's more of the more pieces just there excellent the Chinook helicopter could uh, lift just over 10,000 kilos in weight actually it was about 16 meters long and um has been the uh, a very important helicopter uh in a lot of military operations and um uh over the years in particular with the uh the, the adf the australian military a total of i think 132 of them were shot down in uh in vietnam uh we've got its baptism of fire so to speak and let's have a look now this is the floor on the inside of the chinook just there and look at that there's all the tie down points where they the cargo and whatnot would go on the inside and then they'd strap over it and lock it down with those tie down points there and it's also got the the rough surface non-slip surface spectacular and the roof this goes on the inside along the roof and once again the uh, insulation that uh, that would be there great details very impressed well done trumpeter uh, and then bulkheads would be part of the uh inside this looks to be part of the cockpit there actually i'll turn that over yes oh, that's doorway that would uh doorway leading to leading to the cockpit then what else have we got here 
Ah, uh, so then we're starting to get to the engine. And here are the uh, pieces of the engine. Two engines on the uh, on the uh, on the Chinook on the rear, as uh, you would have seen it. You would have seen it on the front towards the back. Uh, when I showed you, I said this is where the engine ports. Are. I think they were gas turbine engines, if I'm not mistaken. And um, this is where your pieces of your rotor blades would attach, and more parts of the yes, yeah, more parts of the engine there. And then same on that other one. They're identical because, like I said, it was two. There was two engines on that. Now let's see what do we got here. Oh, this is the the wheels. They go on the landing gear on the four little legs, and then more more pieces of the engine. That looks like the exhaust ports actually. That would have been there, and then the smaller details that you'd you'd add to them, and then more of the more of the exterior that go over the engine. It looks like to be the engine cowlings, just there and there. Yeah, blitzing through this kit. Like I said. Um, didn't look like there was going to be a hell of a lot of parts to it, but it was such an interesting, such an interesting kit that I really wanted to show you. And then obviously the rotor blades, they've got a bit of bend to them too. So I don't know if you've ever noticed, but um, when helicopters are stationary on the ground, the blades have a tendency to sag just a little bit like that, which is definitely here. Yes. And then some of the attachment points to the engines just there. Beautiful. So it's, uh, even though um, it was due to its tandem uh, tandem rotor configuration and the blades were relatively short in comparison to its listing capability, as you can see, they're still fairly long. Like, look at that. So double that. Like that. So yeah, you go. <laughs> this model's going to take up a fair bit of space. Uh, what else have we got here? Then more pieces, more pe the engine cowlings there. Oh, and that goes on the underside there. Yeah, there's a few more bulkheads and bits and pieces there. Then let's have a look. Ah, rotor attachments. Just there. For all, uh, for all six of the blades and then more pieces. This looks like to be parts of the engine again. Very nice. This is an impressive kit, despite the fact that there's not a hell of a lot of parts to it. Uh, it has definitely impressed me with all of, uh, with all of the uh, authenticity to it. Now, I won't bother taking this out of the plastic, but there's the, as you can see, there's the nose. Oh, I'll show, there we go, through the top camera. There's the nose. And then the glass that goes over the cockpit. And then just behind it, there's some of the instrumentation that the pilot and co-pilot would be looking at while flying the aircraft here. Yeah. And then a little more windows will go over some of the viewing points along the sides. Cool, cool. And another thing that's, I'm not sure if you've noticed about trumpeter kits is there we go. And again, I love, love all, the, all, the, all of these little extra bits, all of these details, enhancing, enhancing the experience. Actual rubber tires, always actual rubber tires. Such a good touch, a small touch, but it's such a good one. And these are some of the, the legs that the landing gear would attach to, yeah. Oh, very cool, very cool. Oh, and just before I go. And of course, the decal. Not a lot of variety in the decal. There's only really like one version that you could do. But yeah, grab, if I were you, grab this kit. Very, very impressive one. Excellent. Wow. And there we have that, the 35 scale trumpeter C uh, CH47 Chinook. Um, yeah, in... Um, 2021, the ADF issued uh, a requirement for more Chinook helicopters, actually, to uh, increase the size of the uh, Chinook fleet that, um, uh, that the ADF had because of the constant problems and the unavailability of the MRH-90 helicopter, which they were retiring ahead of, um, well ahead of schedule. 
Unfortunately, they were a little late on that one because I don't know if you heard recently, one went down uh, during an exercise talisman saver. It was lost and so was the entire crew. A uh, very, very big shame to uh, lose uh, to lose such brave men in, uh, in a tragic accident. But unfortunately, these things happen. It is a rather hazardous workplace being in the military. But yeah, anyway, uh, this is a very cool kit. Trumpeter, two thumbs up. Uh, super impressed with this. Uh, like I said, there's not a hell of a lot uh, of parts to there. There is enough to keep you interested. I wouldn't be giving this to a, a novice or somebody who's only just starting out with scale modeling. But yeah, what a great kit. What, what a really, really good kit. I'd like to see more Chinook, uh, uh, more Chinook uh, model kits. I've only ever seen two, really, and this is one of those two. But yeah, all right, cool, cool. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And I hope to see you in the store sometime soon. And as always, rock and roll.